Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Moto G71, and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, if you look right here, you can see that the phone that I have right here is locked, and there is the verification pattern, Google account, and also you can see this little lock right in the corner right here. So, no denying, it is locked. Now, to get started with the actual bypass, uh, you will need one thing for it, which is a SIM card. Now, the SIM card doesn't need to have any kind of services. All it needs to have is a PIN. And furthermore, you don't even need to know the PIN. So if you have some kind of SIM card laying around, if it's locked, uh, that will work just fine. Uh, you can use your SIM card that you are using right now uh, in other phones. If it has a PIN, uh, then that's great. Uh, you just pop it in and do not unlock it. And if it does not have a pin, you will need to set one up on a different device. So, once you have that prepared, let's pop it into our phone. So the tray is located on the left upper side right here. There we go. Give it a second and we should see the pin. There we go. Once you see it, take it back out. Now this will keep the device locked, as you can see. I'm gonna obviously take it out fully. So from here, uh, you have this pop-up. So what you want to do with it is just drag the pop-up down. This will open up our notifications. So we're going to now, uh, from the notifications, select Manage. And from here, we are going to select C all from last seven days and then tap on a drop down and select it to be all apps and scroll down to youtube which is right at the bottom click on it click on the icon of youtube and from there select open now once it opens up youtube you want to click on the uh, account icon. Now before I actually progress any further, I should probably mention that right at the beginning, you do need a Wi-Fi connection throughout the setup process. Uh, you just want to connect to any kind of Wi-Fi that you can and then begin the bypass because you do need actual internet connection. So from here, like I mentioned, let's stop on the account icon. And from there, we're gonna now navigate to settings, about, and then Google Privacy Policy, which opens up Chrome. Select Accept and Continue and a No Thanks. And from here, you want to tap on the search bar and navigate to Hard Reset That Info slash Bypass. Now, I will write it down. Once I have, you can pause the video to basically write it yourself. There we go. So now will be the time to pause. Once you navigate to the website, you want to simply to consent, uh, simply select settings. And in the settings, we're going to scroll down to accessibility right over here. And we're going to scroll down again and select accessibility many. And we're going to enable it. So turn it on, allow. It gives us a guide how to open it up. So two finger swipe up from the bottom. OK, we can go back, go back once more. And from here, we're going to now navigate to apps and notifications right up here. See all 41 apps. And then you want to tap on the three dots and select show system apps. And first of all, we're looking for Android setup. So we have one right here. And it looks like we only have one. Okay. So let's select Android setup. And we're going to select four stop and OK. Then you want to go back. There we go. And we're going to now look for Google Play services. Okay, there we go. We are at the G. Google Play services right over here. Once you find it, click on it and you want to select disable. 
disable app for a stop and OK. Once you have done those two things, we will now simply just spam back to get back to the setup. There we go. Uh, now you probably want to mute it as well. Uh, the phone goes a little bit ape. Uh, Ape mode right here with uh, spamming you with the ringtone just because it has no no Wi-Fi connection or maybe not Wi-Fi it cannot connect to Google Play services because we have disabled it and it's kind of not knowing what it's supposed to do okay so as you can see we are now back in the setup and we're gonna again progress a little bit select accept and continue and now is the time that it's gonna glitch out and just not go anywhere as you can see just a second it should give us unless it won't be glitching out but oh there we go so select don't copy and now i believe it's the time that it's gonna try to yep there we go as you can see, it's gonna be checking for updates, trying to show you like a different page, but it automatically goes back for checking for updates. Uh, the reason why this is happening right now is because we have disabled Google Play services. So the phone has no way to connect to the servers and cannot check for updates. Thus, it just doesn't allow us to go any further. So what we're gonna do now is use that accessibility menu that we have enabled before. So two fingers swipe up. It brings up this menu right over here. And what you want to do is select assistant. It will show you a settings button somewhere right here. You want to click on it and this will then redirect you to uh, the app info for the Google Play services where you want to select enable. Now, the reason why I'm not showing you this and telling you is because this is going to take you probably several times. Let's see, as you can see, that didn't even show up this time. So let's try that again. There we go. As you've seen for a split second, there was enable. Uh, so you want to basically keep on spamming this till you get it uh, enabled right there. Once you do, it actually won't close. But basically, I believe till you till you succeed, it's gonna keep on closing. And as you can see, it doesn't always do what you want. Uh, it will take you several tries to actually uh, to actually get it. Oops, I didn't want to go back. It will take you several tries to probably get it. Uh, now. It can take you, to be honest, anywhere from like one to two tries, all the way to a couple hundred tries, which uh, is in my not very uh, lucky uh, state. So just keep on going. There is no right or wrong way of doing this. Uh, if you're basically doing what I told you to, which is two finger assistant settings and enable, that's all you need to do. There we go. So as you can see, it just enabled. It took me, well, as you've seen, several tries to actually get it. Once you have enabled it, you can go back, click somewhere to close this, and you'll see that this time it just goes a little bit further. So from here, we can finish up the setup without actually needing to verify anything. And at this point, you just want to simply skip through this entire, entire setup. So, just continue to skip everything that we can. And there we go. Once you have access to your home screen, you want to navigate to settings because the device is still locked. So, settings, scroll all the way down in the settings page to system, select advanced, reset options, and then select Erase all data, factory reset, again, erase all data. And once you press on that button uh, once again, it will begin factory reset of your device. Now, I won't be doing this on the camera just because it doesn't really provide any extra information. Once you press that button, it just goes to the factory reset, which is all automatic, brings you back to uh, the setup screen of your Android. And from there, the device will be fully unlocked so you can set it up however you like. So yeah, basically that is the last thing you need to press and from there the bypass will be completely finished so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching